Okay, we're recording for YouTube, which I totally forgot to do. Uh, but YouTube guys, you didn't miss anything. Except me being stupid. <laughs> and getting hyped up for Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous. But, uh, basically, we have just started the quest, the Samurai Quest. Level 56 Samurai Quest. Uh, Mama Zigo has gone missing, so we've just been asking around if anyone has seen Mama Zigo. We just had a crash to desktop, so hopefully we don't have more crashes to desktop. We'll see. Taken away by the authorities, you say? There must be an explanation. Come, we must go to the adult mess at once. <laughs> the adult mess? Nice. The adult mess we go. The adder's nest. <laughs> the adult mess. <laughs> Oh, this guy's super French, isn't he? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we did apprehend a Lelefele and showmaster by the name of Momo Zigo. He was wanted here on Guadania for embezzlement. It was no large amount of coin, to be sure, but a crime is a crime, so we took him into custody on site. However, that custody did not last long, for the fellow up and fled when our backs were turned. He was last seen heading into the North Shroud towards Proud Creek, Italian El Territory. We are presently deliberating whether to dispatch a search party, but in light of the risks, I fear that none will be forthcoming. If this Momozigo is your friend, perhaps you might consider searching for him yourselves. This bodes ill. Come, Katkex, we must find Momozigo before he falls foul of these icky souls. <laughs> That's his version of Italians. I love how they've just gone all in on... <laughs> all in on the mispronunciations. This is actually quite fun. It's quite fun. Um, do I want to just teleport? Yeah, I do, because I'm that I am that lazy. I am that lazy, confirmed. Uh, but yeah, we'll do this job quest. Then we will do a quick leveling roulette for samurai. And then we'll dive into the Alliance Raid. Alliance Raid, yes, yes, yes. So we did two of them. We did the Void Arc and the Weeping City. We did both of those already. Uh, so we got the third one. We need to go unlock it, and then we can do it. There's one trial in the MSQ in Post Heaven's Word, and then there's three in the... Okay. Three have their own story. I see, I see. Why did I not earn? Did I miss my combo? I think I missed my combo. Oh, I did. I mispressed something. Wait, what? We got it there. Something weird was happening there. Sorry. I don't know what's going on there. I confused myself. Oh, let's try our new thingy so we can do backstab. Enhanced NP. And then I didn't have enough Kenki to charge in. Oops. Well, I almost died. That was weird. I don't know what was happening there. Could be a keyboard issue. But like, I th I think it did Jin. I think it was doing Jinpu instead of Shifu, even though I was pressing. I don't know. It was weird. I got very confused. <clears throat> oh, NP will give me ten Kenki. Okay, so it will flow a bit better. So we just need. We basically still need what twenty. No, actually, no. So I'd only need 10. I'd spend 10, get 10 back, and then spend 10 to charge in. Yeah, so we only need 10. That's not so bad, then. That's actually not so bad. Okay. Oh, it's got a cooldown. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit, I killed it. Oops. Uh. Oh, whatever. Oh, I, I must check what this enhanced NP is. Hilarious, isn't it? Here I am on a heroic quest to punish criminals with you, but all this time I was a criminal myself. I was organizing a concert at the amphitheater, you see, but the songstress bailed last minute. At that time I had a huge debt hanging over my head and no way of paying it off. 
So I ran off with the money I'd collected from advanced ticket sales. I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyway. I'm no better than the crooks we've gone after. Will you punish me like you punish them? Mama Zigo is just gonna, or she's gonna cut him in half. To betray the people's trust and steal from them is a despicable act. Such evil cannot be suffered. <laughs> there, the evil in you is excised. You have committed a crime, tis true, but so too have you dedicated yourself to fighting it. From this moment forth, do you swear to be a changed man and fight always for justice? I thought he was going to kill him. I actually did. He's kind of crazy like that. I swear, I swear, I'll never do bad things ever again. I may not be able to wield a katana, but I'll fight with you nonetheless. You've not spent all your recent earnings, I trust. You will do well to return the money you took and beg forgiveness. If you apologize from the heart, I see no reason why the aggrieved would not forgive you your transgressions. So go, make amends, and let us continue our quest. We cannot well succeed without you. This guy's actually really like the character I'm thinking of playing in. In Pathfinder. <laughs> Thank you, Musosai. Cat Kex, I'll go repay the money and apologize at once. Ha! Ah, if Momozigo aspires to evil, he has much and more work to do. As it stands, he has reformed himself and will make no more mischief. mischief. With that, our work here is done. One fewer evil afflicts the. Ah! That the little John through the forest should tax me so. There is no overcoming old age. Yet here I am, come to the other side of the world in the twilight of my years. I journeyed here to find a worthy new pupil, and find her I did. But if truth be told, I have one more objective. That is to track down and punish a fugitive from Hingashi, a disgraced samurai known as Kogarashi. Mark my words, his is the face of true evil, and it is my solemn charge to strike him down. I had the chance to do so before, but I failed. His strength far surpasses mine own. I could not defeat him. Forgive me, I should not burden you with this. Pray dismiss it as but the hollow ramblings of an old man. Come, let us return to the city. Probably gonna go to Mordona next, I suppose. He's going to all the major cities. Maybe he goes to Ishgard, actually. You know, he probably could. Hmm, where will he go? Oh, he's brought us back. How nice. I'm given cause to doubt whether Momosiko has learned his lesson. Uh-oh. <laughs> all is forgiven, and all it took was a bit of money. I can come and go through Gadania as I please again. All debts are settled, then. That is well. Let us move on to where wherever the wind should blow. And the wind blows, twould seem, to snow-capped mountains. Momozigo, pray lead us there. Right, this way, friends. We're going to Ishgard. We're going to Ishgard. Cool. To Ishgard we go. Um, this way. No, oh, he must be... Yeah, okay, he's in the... Yeah, I should not have gone this way. Well, it's fine. This works, too. He's in the Forgotten Night, basically. Can I get in through here? Oh, I never noticed this drawbridge before. Well, that's pretty cool. Huh. Look at that. Brings you up this way. <laughs> yeah, watch your elf I see. They're taking the Lalas to, to Ishgard. <laughs> They're taking the Lalas to Ishgard. Such a breathtaking snowscape. 
Though each of this land's regions may not change much with the seasons, collectively they are no less colorful than Hingashi. Now then, Momozigo and I will set to tracking down injustice in this city. In the meantime, my pupil, pray see to, see to it your sword arm remains warm in this frosty climb. Cool. All right, awesome. Um, uh, Helbreth, are you ready to do another uh, quick leveling roulette? And again, I, I don't believe that the limited leveling roulette works. I'll turn it on, but I don't think it works. Only a party leader. Oh, you're the party leader. You stick us in. Because uh, I had, I had my game crashed. It must have promoted you. Uh, in the meantime, while we do that, uh, we're going to teleport out to uh, Sea of Clouds. I think Oxundu. Oh, never mind. Well, I think Oxundu is where we're going to go anyway. That was a pretty quick samurai quest. That one was much less involved than the previous one was the big one. That was a really good one. That was the That was the Ulda one, right? No no, it's the Limsa one. It was Costa del Sol. The crazy Lalafell. The the level Oh god, the level fifty four samurai quest is infamous. It was great. I really liked it. It was one of my favorite job quests. It was fantastic. Oh. Yeah, limited leveling roulette does not work. Well, this is going to be quick anyway. What abilities do I have? Not much. Okay, ow. So I've got Shifu, but no Kasha. Level 30. No, I've got nothing. Okay, I've got Jinpu and Shifu. We just spam Jinpu, I guess. The fight was tough. Yeah, the fight was tough. Very tough in the 54 quest. <laughs> this, is, this is intense right now. Whew. It's intense. It's intense level 22 samurai action. Alternating just because we can. Nice. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> that was super quick. Okay, God, we didn't get much XP from that either. Uh, I guess we got a little bit. Right, let's um, let's go. Let's go to the Sea of Clouds. And let's get this alliance thing unlocked. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure that the limited leveling roulette thing only works if you're in a full party. I think that's how it works. Reap what you sow, level level 60. What's this? Reap what you sow. I'll just take a quick look. Is this it? Reap what you sow. Aid in asserting the authority of the Zundu. This unlocks a dungeon. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do it. The great netherling warrior who chased the clouds from our land returns like gentle zephyr wind. Sandu has plea, and hopes netherlings lends an ear. Zundu takes shelter from the Vundu storm by virtue of peace offerings and respect commanded by Zundu chief. Now though, the rains threaten to fall again. The symbol of chief's power is the great mask he wears, a mask that grows old and worn. A chief who wears shabby mask is a chief who commands as much respect as a summer day's drizzle. Tribal mask is made from the scale of the Waukion, a giant Sanuwa who nests in Neferi. 
where the Vanu Vanu are forbidden to go. The wicked Vundu seek to hoard power and influence for themselves. They seize control of Neverreap, forbid poor Zundu from entry. But they cannot keep out the Netherling who tamed the White. Go to Neverreap Netherling and snatch the scale of the Waukian from the Vundu's evil clutches. Tonu Vanu will be your guide. He awaits you outside the village. Pray go swiftly Netherling, chase away the coming storm. Yeah, you know, I actually would not mind doing a couple of dungeons today as well. That could be super fun. Where's this guy? Oh, he's miles over there. Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, let's unlock this bit first. I, I think it's up here. I, I think. Is Are they here? Oh, man, I don't quite remember where this place is I'm supposed to go to. Um... They over here? I think I think he might be the pin here at the very edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here they are. Grand. Never reaps a cool dungeon? Okay. We will do it. Let's just unlock this while we're here, and then we'll go unlock Nether Reap. Never reap while we're in the queue. Might be waiting a while before Radley finally decides to wake up. Not so long, you got time to flit away on some other adventure. Come join me in my quarters. We can ask her a few questions as soon as she's ready to talk. The only thing that... Uh, I love this little island, but it does have a lot of little load screens, unfortunately. There's nothing really in this main area. Like it's a cool. Pl I guess it's a cool place to hang out. It'd be kind of fun if this was just open and you could run around the whole thing. Baru, you want to join too? Perfect. Um, okay, we'll do Never Reap first then. We'll do Never Reap first. I just have to go through this cutscene. Oh, I need to be level. Uh, needs to be leveled up. What do we need now? Um, that's, uh, so that's Scott. So we've got healers, so we need a tank, I think. <laughs> uh, our meaty. Oh, there, Catkex. Might as well make yourself comfortable while we wait for Unradlia. Besides, after fighting through them ruins, I'll wager you could use the rest. Uh, one thing I'm worried about is... We're gonna try to this like Final Fantasy and Pathfinder streams both on the same day. Hopefully, I'm just a bit worried if how much my my throat, my voice will hold up because it'll be. Uh, I think in Pathfinder it's nearly reading almost everything. There's very little voice acting in Pathfinder. Much less than in this. Similar to a Realm Reborn, I guess. I guess. Where's the rest of my crew? Surely there were other survivors. <laughs> nope. Tell me, Radlia, what drove you to risk exploring Old Mark? The compass sent you there, aye, but you were after the Void Ark. You know something, didn't you? I found a book. We were looting these strange ruins in the Sea of Clouds, and one of the lads took up a tome. It had passages described the Void Ark, and a powerful relic called the Null Stone. A tome scribed by a Maki sorcerer, mayhap. Captain, would you happen to know the author of this work? The words are muddled by obscuring magics, and 1,500 years have faded its pages. There's much that remains illegible, but what little my darling cutthroats and I could decipher suggests it was written by a mage of exceptional status. Oh, you just had that in your pocket? That giant book? See for yourself. 
If what the book says is true, the Ark is a source of immeasurable power. With that ship under my command and the mysteries of the mock in my possession, I thought to crown myself Queen of the Skies. Bit off more than you could chew, though. And look how well that turned out. What manner of sky pirate, what manner of queen can't even keep her own crew alive? Ahem. Radley, is it not? Would I be correct in assuming you seek revenge against the Void Sent who slaughtered your comrades? Of course I want revenge! That hell-spawn shite gobbler killed my crew! If he were here right now, I'd gouge out his eyes and choke him to death with my bare bloody hands. She mad. She mad. You're not alone in your desire to bring an end to these abominations, Captain. Will you not join us in our endeavor to secure peace for the skies? Will you not join the talent strength to ours? Why are his eyes so low resolution? This is really bothering me. He has really low res eyes. <laughs> Like, weirdly low-res eyes. They just took, like, normal eyes and scaled them up, like, five times or something. But didn't up the resolution. What strength! The way things are right now, I doubt I could keep the peace in a monastery! This has naught to do with personal grudges, either. I just don't have the men! All my best fighters died in the ruins, and the dregs that are left are scarce sharp enough to be called talons. She really reminds me of, like, a, a Pokemon villain. Like, Team Rocket villain. Did you leave your spine back in them runes, Radlia? You've had your wings clipped, and no mistake. That's no reason to give up the life. I thought we'd rescued a Sky Pirate, not some cur that turns tail when her pack ain't there to bite for her. <laughs> Putting face on her. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, Red Bill, but I've lost my taste for glory. You can have the cursed book. Just be sure to make that bastard pay. Hey, Furball, how quickly do you think you can decipher that ratty old tome? Need you to figure out exactly how your relic works. Aye, you sent that one squ uh, fiend squealing in fear, but that ain't enough. From what you've told me, we'll need to aim for some of that obliteration if we're going to take on the Shadow Queen. The rest of you, put everything you've got into what you do best, be that research or blade work. Overdoing it's doing it just right, if you get my meaning. It's a good phrase, I like that. I'll decorate my walls at void sent heads if I have to. The sky should below to not belong to no one. Mm-hmm. It's all about his wife. You see, this reminds me of another thing from Wrath of Righteous. One of the mythic paths is you can be uh, a lich. And I think apparently, like, you, you can build a city, or, like, you, you have a whole city as your base in that game, and you can upgrade it as you go. But the lich can just put, like, a giant ziggurat in the middle of their city and turn everyone undead and kill all their companions and stuff. It sounds crazy funny. The Null Stone hath fallen into mortal hands. A thousand apologies, Lord Diabolos. I shall personally wring each and every one of their scrawny necks. 
The time for skulking in shadows hath ended. I'm grown weary of these meddling vermin. Love his chin. The power of the Shadow Queen waxeth full. Soon mine ardent desire shall pass from dream into dark reality. Uh, yes, yeah, Stamp, I believe that's true. I think the Lich can... Cause I, I'm pretty sure that if you play Lich, that a lot of your companions are going to leave, but you get undead companions to replace them. I think you can raise, like, bosses as your companions and stuff like that. Which sounds cool. I just... I, I wonder if there's as much story. I feel like you might miss out on some story stuff. Like, some of the core story, but in return, you get a whole bunch of cool other stuff. Sonya! Cool. We got ourselves a group. Um, ooh, orchestrian rule, roll, rolls. Good, 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 good. Cat Kex. Uh, teleport offer? You've been offered a teleport. Wait, what? Cat Kex, Kate Sits just sent me out to find you. You have a proper knack for showing up at just the right time, you know that? Anyway, Kate Sith cracked open that tome what we got from Radley, eh? He's been studying all the Nullstone secrets. He thinks he may be onto something important. Not just concerning Diabolos and the Shadow Queen, but also the cat himself. Come on back to the parrot. We'll, uh, we can all hear what he has to say together. Um, I will join you guys in a second. I'm just going to keep grabbing these quests first while we're here at the parrot thingy. Oh, if, if party members use a teleport in the same zone as you, you can piggyback for free. Oh, I had no idea. That's cool. You can just get free teleports? Huh. Nice. How cool. Is that only like within the zone itself? So for example, if if I teleported from like Limsa to, to Gridania, would everyone else get free teleports? Or is it only if I like teleport from, I don't know, part of North Shroud to another part of North Shroud? Yo. As I suspected, this tome was penned by a Maki sorcerer of superior standing. As well as detailing the methods by which the full power of the Nullstone might be unleashed, its pages also contain a number of revelations concerning my master, High Void Mage Cesare. If these histories are to be trusted, then it seems that Cesare himself was responsible for summoning Diabolos. Oops. But I thought you said your master was opposed to support in the war effort. Why would she be the one to call up that bat-winged monster? Cesare only agreed to the ritual as a means to bring the conflict to an early resolution. From what I can glean from these pages, Diabolos was intended as a bluff, a threat that was never to be exercised. But those arrogant imbeciles ignored my master's carefully laid restrictions and elected to unleash the fiend upon Amdapur. It was when Cesare moved to protest this act that she was branded a traitor and imprisoned. And that's why Diabolos is the last boss of Amdapur. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, makes sense. Once they'd contained the opposition, the Void Mages studied all manner of otherworldly acts at the taloned feet of their new pet. The most dangerous of which was the right for summoning Skathak and the method for chaining her power. I have high hopes for this raid. This should be pretty cool. Even after all they perpetrated, these ambitious fools had the gall to come crawling to Cesare when the coming of the Great Floods was predicted. They begged her to take control of the Void Ark for the salvation of the Maki people. As you saw for yourself, however, the energies of the Shadow Queen broke loose and turned the vessel into a derelict nest of void scent. It seems obvious now that the arts taught by Diabolos were deliberately flawed. <laughs> yep. Oops, you trusted a demon and it backfired. 
The only saving grace in all this madness was when that damnable fiend was sealed away by the white mages of Amdapur. I shudder to think what would have happened had he been reunited with his queen. So now, 1500 years later, Diabolos is looking to finish what he started. I thought the bat-faced bastard was just some opportunistic underling. Turns out he's the main villain behind this whole mess. Were Cesare alive today, she would accept responsibility for unleashing Diabolos upon the world. As the High Void Mage is familiar, it is my duty to act in her stead. I have deciphered the secrets of the Null Stone, and with its undiluted power shall I erase Diabolos from existence. Uh, damp, what's that? Heh, <laughs> I like your spirit, puss, but try not to rush in too quickly, eh? Getting yourself killed won't do us or your master any good. Wait, wait, wait. No one's rushing in anywhere just yet. Or have you forgotten we're still in the middle of scouting out the fiend's lair? We've got a compass to go by, aye, but who knows what kind of place it'll lead us to, or how many demons will be lying in wait when we get there. We fly in with our eyes open, or risk getting slaughtered just like the talons. Oh yes, speaking of which, this tome made mention of a potential location for... Leofard. So you're saying I should pick up that quest before we do the raid, is it? Ouch, behind, he's behind you. Oh no, he isn't. Oh yes, he is. Yeah, curse you, fiend. Lads. Ah, lads. Come on now. At last, at long last. This is far from over, demon. We'll not allow an abomination like the Shadow Queen to rule this world. Then thou knowst naught of ruling. It is might which decideth dominion. I have done Amdapur, yes, I did Amdapur. They were great fun, actually, I like those ones. But believe what thou mayst, frail creature, you are playthings. Your screams of denial shall amuse me as I send this rock and all upon it to shatter upon the ground below. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't do Amdapur hard. No, I just did Amdapur and Amdapur keep. There's a hard one too, is there? Ah, Radlia, I assume. Yep. Nice. Oh, the hard one is the level 60 dungeon. Ah, okay. Cool. I have still a bunch of level 50 dungeons still to do. Like, I have not done them all, so. God, is that Radlia? Where has she been hiding that ship? No, it is 50? Okay. I would not tire my arm with the swatting of so many flies. The Null Stone is mine, and there is yet much to be done. I can't believe he just flew in and took it. Worst Sky Pirates ever.
Oh, Amdapur Keep Hard is level 50. The Lost City of Amdapur Hard is level 60. Ah, okay. But the hard ones aren't to do with this story. Okay. Well, well, ain't I a lucky sod? Two demons in one day. Found some new dogs to lick your boots, Radlia. Is that any way to welcome me back to the life? You needed allies, and persuading our reluctant fellows to join in common purpose is a feat only a woman of my charming beauty could accomplish. And besides, you look too injured to be of much use to anyone. You'd best take to your bed, old man, and let me and your champion there take care of the void scent. What? So you can tuck tail and run again at the first sign of trouble? You'd not even be standing there if it weren't for me. Even with me arm busted up, I'm still twice the pirate you are. Now you've got time, Montserrat, because we're going to do a dungeon first. We're going to do a dungeon, and then we're going to do the raid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nay, I think you should stay behind this time, Leofard. We must pursue Diabolos without you. Oh, rude. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford to wait for you to heal. We must take advantage of Captain Radlia's reinforcements and proceed with all haste. Did the demon drop you on your head, Furball? Without me there's to, there to run things, you'll just end up getting in Kakek's way. No one's making haste anywhere till we know what we're flying into. Again, Captain Radlia may hold the answer to that dilemma. I suspect that the island where she uncovered the Maki Tome is the very location where Diabolos has chosen to lair. This floating marvel I speak of is not a natural occurrence. It was constructed as a haven for refugees of the floods. The tome makes very clear reference to the island's purpose, and describes in detail the void sand sorcery employed in its creation. As the Void Ark never arrived at its destination, however, the island remained uninhabited. I can imagine no more suitable hideaway for our scheming fiend. Even better, Diabolos will not expect us to suddenly arrive at his secluded doorstep. The Talon fleet will carve us a path through the Lesser Fiends, and we shall strike swiftly into the heart of the confusion to seize the Nullstone. Once the relic is secured, I will use its power to obliterate our devilish foe. I'm, I'm kind of wondering now. I, I'm assuming that we do fight Skathak, but I'm not sure. Hmm. As a Sky Pirate, surely you understand how such an assault relies on speed and surprise. We cannot have a wounded companion slow us down and potentially doom the entire Enterprise. So, you think you're in charge now, do you, puss? Poor broken Leofar is just some dead weight you need to cut away. You know what? I've had a belly full of your mulin in any case. Go on, fly off without me. See how far you get with your thrice-damned enterprise. Captain Radlia, compare the direction indicated by the Ecto Compass with your navigational records, if you please. I think we'll find the coordinates coincide with the island in question. Certainly, and feel free to board our flagship when you're set to depart. My darling's large enough to accommodate your adventurer and her fellows with room to spare. Dunscathe, now accessible. Cool. Okay, great. So we're going to be able to do that uh, in a little bit. Uh, all right, let's go to this dungeon first, though. Grand. Uh... Passage to Cold Wind, I think that's what I want. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, dungeon time. Dungeon time. So we need to speak with... Where is he? All the way over there. Okay, we need to go all the way over here. 
Reap what you sow. We'll do that, and then we'll do the raid after. Perfect. What was the quest to pick up in uh, Idleshire? I, th I think there's going to be so many quests. You'll have to point it out to me. Because I think Idleshire is going to be full of quests, right? I haven't been there properly. Actually, I might have some poetics to spend. Oh, I do. I do have poetics to spend. We could get some upgrades, actually. Uh, that being said, I guess we could get a belt. We're actually pretty good on stuff. Um... Do I have the Dragoon weapon? Yes, I have the Shire Halberd. I have the Shire Sesti. Do I have the Shire... Um, wrong button. Do I have the Shire... Wrong button again. <laughs> do I have the Shire Katana? Don't think I do. If I sort this, we'll know for sure. I've got the Ironworks Katana. Okay, I need the Shire Katana. So I need to buy that. Unidentified flying object. And I need that before the raid or before this dungeon? Don't move, Anu waits for Netherling Warrior. A Netherling Warrior comes before the raid. Okay, cool. Netherling braves never reap to retrieve the wacky on scale for Zandu. Tonu's heart flutters in the gentle winds of Netherling's kindness. Never reap is sacred to the Vanu Vanu, but Vandu come with their wicked ways and transform Never reap into a tempest of terrors. Watch your tail feathers, Netherling. Never reap. Okay. Let's do it. Never reap. Yep. Sonu Vanu, chief of the Zundu, faces a tempestuous predicament. Already facing an upwind battle to shelter his people from the warlike Vundu, his mask, the traditional symbol of power in Vanu Vanu society, has grown old and worn. Should it crack and his authority with it, the peaceful tribe would be powerless to stave off the coming storm. Venture into Neverreap, the sacred isle of the Vanu Vanu that has been overrun by the Vundu and the vicious beasts in their thrall, and emerge at the scale of mighty Wakion. That Excuse me, that the sun might shine on the Zundu once more. Uh, actually, before I queue up, let me double check my wondrous tales. Um, could we got ourselves another seal. Okay. Six out of nine. Um, so let's retry this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and it's removed Nidhogg's Rage. That's fine. We haven't even unlocked that. So this level 60 dungeon, we'll get another seal. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. There's a lot of stuff in Idleshire. There's a something in Gridania. There's something in Limsa. Something in Marby. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. Hmm. In the last patch of the expansion, they took a trash pack out of the raid and added a boss to the weekly quest. It is an item you can trade for a 270 accessory. One of the best looking tank chests in the game. Oh, really? So there's a boss in this raid that was added later. Cool. Ablathia's Spine, Never Reap. Alright, let's... Can I change? I probably can't. Okay. This might be the last hurrah for Monk. I think we're going to hit 61. I guess actually we could stick with Monk. I don't know. Place a Thunder Egg on the altar? Oh my god, it's Leap of Faith. Leap of Faith, let's go. Sure. Will I get Monk to 62, or should we go back to should we go back to Dragoon? 
With Dragoon still while we're in the in this expansion. It's probably the right thing to do. I should probably put Fist of Fire on for 5% more damage, huh? That'll be a good call, right? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> the problem with Dragoon is just the armor is kind of dumb. Supposed to kill this feather? Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Blasphemy, giving out about the Dragoon armor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this is bot. Uh... <laughs> it's true, though. Like, I, I much prefer the monk armor. I love. I love it. I, I know that a lot of people might not like the monk armor. I get it. It's kind of funky looking, but I like it. I do love that laser beam. It's so good. The ne literally never gets old. Freaking elixir field. So good. So good.
So I, I'm not even sure as well, like, with meditation, the fact that you have to press it five times to get your thing back, don't know if it's worth it. I think it's going to become a lot more easy to do once we get the ability to generate at least some stacks, um, some stacks in, in combat. Then, hey, if we get, like, one stack, it's like, okay, you know what, it's worth something. Totem. Oops. Seems bad, doesn't it? Oh, they pick them up. They move them out. Can we stand in here? I think we can. Well, gonna find out if I can stand in here or not. Yes, we can. We're all good. Come over here. How do I drop it? I see how this is working. Okay, this is actually kind of cool, boss. I dig it. I see where he's going with it. So the totems keep building up. That's actually quite cool. You, you just run out of space. Valerian Smuggler's Half Glove. earrings as well. Let's get our uh, chakra back. Another bit of loot. Valerian Shaman's Chasuble. Oh, okay, this looks super like the... This is just like the Aurum gear, just a different color. Cool. Oh, look at this. Ooh, islands coming out of the sea. What happens if we touch this water? Drop the sea. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Chronologically, this, this gear came first. Ah, because the Aurum gear was added later. It's part of why the Aurum gear looks so good, right? It's from later in the game. gear was in 5.3. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't realize it was that recent. Holy. So it's super recent. Cool. Try. <laughs> I'll try. Make sure there's space behind me. Okay, got it. He's gathering the wind. Divine Gale. Turbine.
Oh, not too bad. What's this? Am I missing him or something? Yeah, I do keep missing him. Boulder Blade? Dark Knight weapon. Oh, that's a cool weapon. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's good. Boulder Rod. What's that look like? Oh, that looks good too. What's this? Valerian Smuggler's Gillet? That looks terrible. <laughs> I want it. I want it, I want it. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, we need to bring this to the guy back here. Uh, let's do it. Level 61 on Monk as well. We ding, ding, ding. Okay, and we need to go turn in the stuff before, right, there's a diable version of that chest you can craft. This gear is based off of Tactics Ogre. Cool, Tactics Ogre. I don't know what that is, but that's sick. Uh, let's go back to Goon now as well. Netherlings wears triumphant look of one who weathers the storm. You return from Nether Reap with wacky on scale, yes? This Sanu knows. Yep, here you go. Netherling bears the scale, and it is a mighty one indeed. Fashion a mask from this, and Zundu Chief will command the authority of a furious storm of lightning. But that is not all the Netherling accomplishes, no. Netherling chases the cruel Vundu from Nether Reap, returns Halcyon winds to our sacred land. We Zundu are not like our cruel Vundu brothers. Gentle like a spring breeze, we welcome Netherlings with open wings. Sanu's heart is warmed by the gentle sunlight of your friendship. Promise us you'll remain a friend to the Zundu for many seasons to come. Of course. Of We're best friends. We are best friends. Okay. To Idleshire then. Uh, Idleshire. If you guys are... um. If you guys are up for the raid, we'll do the raid as well. Ogre Tactics. It's an old PS uh, PlayStation era game that was a big part of the tactical game craze. Oh, okay. Now, I was a big fan of tactical games. Okay. A striking opportunity. No. Disarmed. Let me goobal that for you. <laughs> Fires of some owl. An unexpected proposal. There we go. Unidentified flying object. It's a repeatable thing. It's up this way. The last one I looked at, of course. Yeah, no worries, Sanya. I've got to do pretty much the same thing. Proto Ultima Heat Shielding. Slip Slicks has ear catched much of Uplander's adventures. Yes, Sky Stealers are always trading tongue flaps about Uplander when they come to make busy deals with Slip Slicks. Slip Slicks has also ear catched that Uplander is plan striking assault on Floaty Rock Dunscaith. This is Slip Slicks' lucky day. White hearted Uplander would be happy to do hand landing for Slip Slicks while Uplander's there, yes? Sky Stealers trade tongue flaps about giant miscreation seen near Dunscaith. Gives Gobby the shivery shakes. 
Fighty beast, ancient giant of whirly cogs, addle brained guessing spill from Uplander's brain cases, but slip slicks would seek true knowings. Go to Dunscathe and rip take part of monster. Will not be easy goings, but Uplander can bring back part to slip slicks, yes? Okay. Do the raid, Dunscathe. Roger, roger. Oh, I got this uh, smuggler's thing. This is quite ugly. Like, I think I just turned this in. It's quite hideous. I don't think I want that for anything. Uh, all right. Raid time uh, on Dragoon, no less. Uh, so we are going into Dunscathe. Clear section. Dunscathe. The ancient home recovered by Captain Radlia of the... Ta Let's actually join this because we might be in a queue. Um... Captain Radley of the Talons tells of a floating refuge, an island created by Maki sorcerers to provide safe haven from calamitous floodwaters. Antelope Staghorn. Oh, thank you. Is that a... Ah. I have already claimed that. I've already got it. I already have it. Uh, is that Baru? Baru, you can have it back. I have it already. I have it. You've got extra. Well, I've got it. I, I too have extra. Um, I too have a, let me actually practice trading. Oh, I'll put it in the company chest? Okay, I'll put it in the company chest. Okay, cool. We'll do that. I'll put it in the company chest and my FC can have it. And by the way, open invitation. If anyone wants to join the FC, you are more than welcome to. Uh, okay, but it's Flowing Refuge. Island created by Maki Sorcerers to provide safe haven from calamitous floodwaters. With the disaster that befell the Void Ark, however, the island's intended residents never arrived. Kate Sith is convinced that Diabolos has instead claimed this refuge as his own, transforming what was to be a bastion of hope into a void scent nest of shadowy nightmare. It is into this fiendish lair that you must delve. The Lady Radlia stands ready to bear you across the skies. I like that she named her ship after herself. Assault the island, reclaim the Nullstone, cast her demonic foes into oblivion. It's only about 10 or 20k. Okay. I spend a lot of money on my, my room. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, I want to get... Iconic gear? No. Shire gear. Shire gear exchange. That's right. I want to get the... What's that? Katana. Augmented Shire Katana. I don't have one. No, I don't. I want this. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Got it. Okay, good. We have the Shire Katana now. What's it look like? Actually looks pretty sick. Yeah, this is a nice looking Katana. It's it's straightforward enough, but it's got a nice scabbard. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diabolos is the last boss from the Lost City of Amdapur. The reason he's in Void Ark is so we let him go. I remember doing that all right. Uh, I, I used some of the stuff out of the company chest. I actually think I took a painting I forgot to put back. But I used stuff, but then I, I, I there were some specific things I wanted to put in there. I pretty much almost exclusively used items I could buy off the vendor. I did a couple of things, just tweaking it for myself. Yeah, let me go show you guys again. I'm cause I'm proud. I'll show you my my room because I'm proud. Your room's still empty. Ha ha. Ha. -ha. Let me actually. Drop this in the company chest. So this can go... Bam. Right there. Perfect. Oh, did I get an orchestrion roll? Oh, I've got to... Oh, no. This doesn't work, though. Let me show you my room again. It's my room. Bet we got our little... Little... Our bed is here. Got some nice paintings. Got Orsh font above the bed. Uh, yeah, I, hang on. I think I've got to let people in, right? Is that estate settings? Private chambers? Uh, guest access. Allow access. Confirm. 
Okay, there you go. I think you can come in now. You guys can come in and see. Uh, we've got like our, our storage area. We've got some laundry. We've got, uh, you know, the wardrobe. Just for cleaning the place up a bit. We got a nice map that we've used as a notice board. So that's just how we roll. Get some books. And you come through here. And we've got, uh, this is our main area here. Our working area, so. Hello! You know, so we can, like, sit here and write important tactical reports on the map. You can put this dragon head on different places of the map for reasons. Um, you know, you could, you could sit here if you wanted. You could sit in the comfy cushion and write. I guess this doesn't quite work. We're a bit small. You could kneel on the cushion and you could write. Yeah, like that. There you go, Kat Kex. You can write on your thing. You got a clock. Have a cup of tea and a biscuit. Or there's books if you want books. Oh, look at this. What's this? The crop is ready to be harvested. Ah. Oh, cool. Oh, I'll leave that be. Is this one grown? The crop's doing well. No, it hasn't grown. I need the pl I've got a whole lot of bookshelves here. Or then you could... You can sit down. And you know you can have a nice read of your books here. In the comfy part. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with the room. This window cost me 50,000. <laughs> um, but I was initially intent... Oh, look, you've got the, the armor from that last dungeon we just did. Cool. Oh, there's a, a minion that's a pillow? Cool, cool. But yeah, so the idea is that, like... My, my concept was basically that this room is, like, mostly my personal room, right? It's in the free company headquarters, so we've got lots of shared spaces down there for the free company. So, like, this room is mostly free. So, like, that's why I kind of have the idea that, like, it's... Dragon wants to join. Cool. That's why, like, this room is it's quite messy, you know? Like, our books are here, and, like, we've got the laundry and the cleaning supplies. and so, Like, it's kind of messy, but that's okay, because it's just my room for me. Like, who really cares? And then, like, okay, we could, if we need to discuss something with our, our party, with our free company, be like, yo, guys, come on in. And then we can come over. We got a couple of stools. We can sit at the battle map and discuss tactics. Uh, and then this is more like my, my personal relax spot or my personal work spot, you know? It's that idea. Yeah. Oh, Dragon's unlocking it? Yeah, no worries, dude. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, gardening outside is fun. Yeah, I need to get into it. I need to look up how to do gardening. Uh, did I look at the video? Not yet, cool dog. Cluttered and cozy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you think about, like, a real world place, like, it's... They tend to be pretty cluttered. You tend to squeeze a lot in, so that's sort of the goal here. Just to squeeze stuff in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is just with the, the basic stuff I had access to, so... When we get fancier crafting uh, stuff, we can craft up some fancier things and put in nicer stuff. But yeah, pretty cool. You made your apartment look like a college dorm? Nice. <laughs> You're on a triple triad bridge? Yeah, no problem, dude. <laughs> My orchestron is unfortunately very bare. I, I don't have many tracks. I've got six dungeon tracks. And that's it. That's all I got, so. Our music is limited. But I like, this is the best one we've got. Yep, this is my room. This is the raid with most wipes and pugs. Oh, fun. Can you lie down in the bed? I think you have to slash doze, is it? Slash doze? Aw, oh, yeah, there we go. Let's gaze up at Orchvon. Oh, we've got Limsa, Gridania, and Ulda. Nice paintings as well.
in the bed and my armor on. Yeah, all the spikes in the armor get caught in the bed. Yeah, it's true. Can you get armor stands? I was trying to find that and I couldn't, but I think it'd be quite cool to have like our armor stand here with like our armor on it. I don't know if you can do that. You can. <gasps> oh, cool. Okay, that'd be good. Mannequin. So here's the thing. Can I edit it with you in here? I, I bought a mannequin, but it, it was doing weird stuff. Um, is it indoor? I have a mannequin. But he was looking, he was doing weird stuff. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. Like this guy. Snapping, please. But he's butler kex. Oh! Mannequins, unique type of furnishing can be used to not only display. <gasps> ah! Okay. Ah! Okay, I can sell gear via mannequins? What? I can select gear to display. Okay, cool. Okay. But yeah, I was, I was, I got really confused because I put it down. It says butler kex, but then it's like, it's some fucking cat boy in a, in, I don't know what that's even called. So yeah. Maybe I'll put him over here where this plant is. That could be a good spot for it, for my armor set. Or, you know, just having the armor right here so I get out of bed and throw on my armor and off I go. That could be good. Hey, Lily, how you doing? No, oh, we got straight into this, okay. Ah! And this actually, this mannequin serves as a way to summon butler kex, right? He liked the giant stack of bucks. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that idea of we're just kind of messy. It's just like, you know what, fuck it. We just got all the bucks, just fuck them beside the bed. It's fine. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm proud of my little room. I think it's a good first attempt. <laughs> Shadow of Mock Dunscathe. That's it. I've got four huge bookshelves I didn't stop collecting. Yeah, we need info. Info is important for the Warrior of Light. Got to be well informed. I also like the little like little lore of my room is that I've got the big map table. So then when I've got the actual little map on the wall, I was like, do I really need that second map? So I was like, you know what, we'll just use it as a notice board. Because I couldn't be arsed getting an actual notice board. Like that's the actual lore story. It's great. Very fun. Oh, this is a nice ship. You got yourself a nice ship here. Oh, hi there, big guy. We gonna fight this thing? I guess we are. Void death. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Ah! I think I dodged it. Whew! That was spicy. That was spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Void arrow. Oh, it leaves a thingy. Oh, I see. My bad, everyone. Void Blizzard. You guys got cool a thing. We should zoom out, huh? Too close. Void Arrow. You cast on someone else, though. That, oh, 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 oh. that was close. He almost had me. He almost had me there. I'm not afraid to admit it. What does this mean? Oh, it's gonna push us off. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. This is a cool box. I like it.
Oh, I never used my damage booster. No. I failed. I thought I did. I thought I used Lance Charge. He's got lasers. Void death. Doomsay. I mean, he certainly got good names for his abilities. I'll give him that. He certainly got good names. again. Okay. Void death. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sweating. Hams are sweaty. Legs uh, spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Ah. these patches on the ground now. So he's gonna try to blow us off. Nailed <laughs> it. Limit break two. He's down. That was cool. Okay. Haha. -ha. Belt of Healing. Turban of Scouting. You get a turban. Huh. Oh, look at this place. Ooh. It's like a little fortress in the in the rocky clouds, huh? <laughs> Decorating's a dick dick. <laughs> you make all characters have more space to decorate in? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, um, I'm pretty sure Kalita Streams has done the same thing for our faction, faction house. She has alts to store items on and stuff like that. Ooh, this looks fun. And the moon. Hmm, I wonder if this is gonna tie. Probably not. I figure that's probably more main quest stuff, but like... Could this, uh... Warrior of Darkness guy show up? I wonder. Yeah, I'm petrified. Whoops. How long am I petrified for? I'm free. Oh my. We, I think we didn't kill this stuff on time. <laughs> That's a cool area of effect icon he's got. Oh, we ran out of, ran out of juice. I like the music. This is so strange. They just, they built themselves like an actual city, but it's kind of like half under construction. Like they never quite finished it, their refuge. Huh. Oh, we got to fight this guy.
I think he's throwing out some like spinny blades on the ground. They're probably bad to stand in. Wormhole. I don't know if I have to stand somewhere specific for that. Ow. Okay, apparently it was in that explosion. I thought I made it out, but I guess not. My bad. Jungler's X. I'm good. The wormhole. What's this thing? Nani. Debilitating. Who knows what's going on? Could be anything. Flame flow. I see there's lots of flames on the ground. Okay, there's... What are all these? What do? Tee hee. Okay. Kill them with fire. Thank you, no fellas. I didn't attack. Maybe I should actually save Shatter Spine Dive for gap closing. I wonder. Looking forward to having my five part combo because like right now we have like a four part combo which doesn't quite work but it's sort of like the best we can do i got hit by both of those oh dear that was unfortunate rip me you're in the overlap except thank you now lily yeah sure sure Keep getting bigger and bigger. That's fun. I like that. Fun attack. Resistance to water plummets. This is the stack up thingy. Remember this. He's almost down. We almost got him. Flame flow. I can't remember what this one did. Explosions, I guess. Boom. He got him. Cool. That was an interesting fight. I like that one. Diabolic Trousers of Healing. Diabolic Hat of Casting. Snazzy hat. Hmm. I hate court. The raid? Raid's good. Raid is good? Yeah, I like this one. It's cool. I definitely... So far... This is... This is cool. I still think the second one... So far, it was cooler with the big frickin' um, big pyramid and stuff. Like, that was super cool. But this is kind of nice so far. We're still going. Proto Ultima. Oh, this is the boss. This is the boss. That you guys were talking about. The 
this optional boss. It's Ultima again. Ultima with laser beams. So yeah, I think I just switch between my two combos. Is that the best thing to do? Gravitational collapse imminent. That sounds ominous. Oh, hello. Stack. It's hard to top the Ozma fight? Yeah, the Ozma fight is kind of exceptional. Oh, this is a runaway thing. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Don't go too far, I suppose. Over here now. Draken, no! Draken! Ah! Oh, now they got robots. Now they got robots. Fucking tune, though. Well, I'm almost dead. That ain't good. What is going on, dude? This fight is nuts. Okay, I think we gotta kill these things. They're like powering them up or something. That's what it looks like. Fifty seconds to supernova. That sounds suboptimal. I'm gonna be honest. Supernova. I don't know about that. I don't think we want him to do a supernova. There's a dragon there. Am I gonna stand in this thing? Is that good? I think it was good. I think it was good. I think it was fine. I don't know. <laughs> there was a big glowy dragon. Uh, <laughs> and then Dragon had something around him. I think it was Dragon. It just didn't it? Oh! They were limit breaks. Oh! That was Dragoon limit break three. <gasps> Yo, I can do that. I can do that. Oh shit. I need to do that. Damn. Each job is unique Limit Break 3. I think that's the first time we've seen Limit Break 3 in-game, I think. Oh, this is her. Oh, she does not look anything like I expected. What the fuck? She's like an evil fairy. This is not what I expected at all. She's like that bad guy from Skyward Sword. Did we not get loot from that last boss? I guess because it was optional, right? I'm jumping in, I don't even care, man. Don't at me. Ow. That was a really fast cast, you jerk queen. Shade spin. Do I need to run away from something here? Okay, so she has wedges. Alright. I think my attack might have missed her there. How? That's so fast! What? You clearly need to predict that from her tells or something. Like, you do not have time to walk out of that. No way. What is this? What does that mean? People with grabby hands. I think I missed her again. Not sure. I think I dodged that one that time. That was a uh, lucky. Just because I was thinking of going over to that other enemy. Pure luck. Take some pure luck. I think she must be about to do some AoE, so I'm put down his shield. They're like, yeah, no. Shade spin. So this is like where it chooses a random wedge. Maybe it's not random, maybe it's based off of where she's positioned. Wow, 
What are those? Shade Thrust. We use our jumps there for some gap closing because we can't see it. Oh, she's up to something. Form a chrysalis. From a chrysalis of light shall I birth deepest shadow. Okay. She spawned in ads. Okay. They're all dying before I can reach them. Boing. I hit something, you know. Oh, there's big things. Chimera Poppet. Well, that's not creepy at all. What is this thing? Big Hug! <laughs> His attack's called Big Hug. Yeah, that's kind of hilarious. The very big enemy. The dragon's voice. Does that mean go close or go far? Who knows? He got interrupted. We'll never know. It's a mystery to the end of days. She's just dancing inside her thing. This looks like a cool thing. If we could put that, like, in our house. It looks pretty awesome, actually. Thirty souls. Do I want to not stand in this, or I do want to stand in this? I have no idea. Uh, it's gonna kill me? Oh, that wasn't too bad. The music for this is sick, though. I like it. 30 souls. Oh, oh, this Dragoon is doing his thing. God damn it, Mr. Dragoon. Let me, let me have a go, you big jerk. Oh, there's a stack thing. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and I sit in that. Oh, am I dead? Might be dead. Okay. Mama. Come back here. Barry's running away with the stack thing. I don't know what that means. Oh, I got murdered by something. Oh, rip me. Oh, I could use Limit Break. Wait. Wait, is Limit Break individual? Is Limit Break individual? <gasps> Do we all get a Limit Break? Oh, it's per party. <gasps> so our alliance has one as well. <gasps> so I could Limit Break something. Should I just use it like at the start of this fight? Will I get in trouble? I want to do it. I want to do a limit break. I want to do it. We still have to do Diabolos. So he's actually the last boss. Did not expect that. Wait till 10% on the boss. Oh, it resets on boss pulls? Okay. Cool though. Resets on the fight start. I did not expect him to. I thought that the previous girl was going to be the last one. Color me surprised. I've got no CDs. All my CDs come after I've dropped all my OG CDs. Uh, maybe I should have saved them. I don't know. It would have been better to save. Got away. Oh god, oh no, it's the gates thingy. Oh god, what does this mean? What do the gates mean? Look away. Yeah, you're right, the limit break has fully reset. Bummer. 
Where's he off to? Ruinous Omen. This sounds less than good, to be honest. Am I supposed to go somewhere? I think we just tank this. I think it's just a raid hit. Oh, wait, there's big shields and stuff going down. And then there's a stacky thing. Stacky in the stacky. Easy. Ultimate Terror. No, you. I guess I'll give everyone a buff, why not? It seems like this boss is mostly hanging out with us. Maybe he's got other fate. Oh, yep, yeah, of course, of course, after I pop by the litany, he fucking left. Splash. Big door. Life gates. Stop the big door. He's trying to shoot a laser through the door, but we're stopping him? I have no idea what's going on. Something like that. He's not happy anyway. Contest of strength. Okay. So we need to kill these, huh? Oh, we killed one of them. I guess we need to keep hitting all of them. Huh? We're shooting a beam to break his beam. Oh, we're shooting a beam, okay. It's like a Harry Potter jewel, is what you're saying. So is this beam our... Oh, the, I think the whole beam's our beam, and the black thing is his beam. So we're well winning. Oh, we're totally fine. I guess I should use my CDs, and I, I did them all backwards there. Possible. I'm a lord of the void. You cannot arg. You can't arg. Oh. Pant, pant. My imprisonment. We can be more than I imagined. Witness now my true purpose. Uh oh. Oh, hey. God. Fusion. They few. Ow. Ooh, Diabolos Hollow. Oh, he looks cool. Oh, I like it. He 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 ev he evolved. Hollow Camisado. Apparently, he's gonna hit us really hard. Everyone just pop defenses. Shade thrust. I probably shouldn't have stood in the line. No, I think it hit everyone. I don't know. Can I have dodged that? No idea. Let me see. If I stand out to the side, will I dodge it? Yes! Haha, -ha, I'm smart. And this is Padres. I'm gonna save my OGCDs here for my cooldown. Stacky thing, but look away from it? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not looking at him. Whatever's happening to you, friend, I want nothing to do with it. He's dead. I'm lucky. Now we've got doors. Oh! Oh, hey! What? Okay. I did something. I'm back. <laughs> Great. I'm back, everyone. Hope you didn't miss me. Oh, it's another one of those stack things. Okay, I'm gonna stack in this one. 
and not look at it. I don't know exactly how that works, but I'm trying. What's he doing? Shadow Sphere Materialize. Meteor... Shadow Sphere. So. Oh god. Oh, help. Help, mama. Help me. I don't want to touch that ball. I'm almost dead. This isn't looking good. Is this chasing me? Sorry. T sorry, team. <laughs> my, my, my bad, boys. Oh, what's he up to now? Hollow Omen. Uh, I think. Do we just have to, to DPS through this? I think so. I think this is just. It smacks you hard. Good luck. Oh yeah, that smacks hard. That that smacks hard. All right. Yep, that'll do it. Can I, can I limit break? Dragon Song died. Oh, how fucking cool was that? Yo, he just turned into a giant dragon. And did a giant dive. A dragon Song died, you might say. Boom! Nice, we got a limit break three in. How cool. <laughs> How cool. I'm proud of us. We did it, chat. We did it together. Diabolic male of maiming. <gasps> I can roll neat on that. What's it look like? <gasps> Done scathe complete. Awesome. Uh, let's command Tally Spirit. Sure. Gauntlet Offending. Looks cool. The Mail of Maiming. It's actually an upgrade. Oh, that looks quite nice. All right, I'll take that. Hopefully, Void Matter. Absolutely. Wind up Skatha. Yeah. <gasps> Diabolus Hollow. Oh yes. I rolled a 97. I think I won everything. Let's go. <laughs> Void Matter. Diabolus Hollow. Excellent. So this is this is better than what I'm wearing right now. It's better than my Dragon Lancer stuff by by a lot. Yeah. Okay, so do your thing. Do not relax your guard yet, Cat Kex. They are still heavy with this foul presence. That was a great fight, though. That was cool. Already taken care of the fiend, have you? And you didn't even need that dusty old relic to do it. I bet she's going to try betray us. And then the other guy will come and save us. Because he's a good sky pirate. Yeah, look at this. Don't trust her. Be careful, Captain. Diabolos yet lurks in the shadows. <laughs> Fucking idiot. This guy just won't give up. My goodness. He's back to normal, though. He's not cool for him anymore. It's like Digimon. He's unevolved again. Oh, shit! He killed the cat! Finally have I claimed the Shadow Queen's power for mine own, yet still am I harried by you noisome weevils.
I must needs quit this realm for a time. When I have grown accustomed to my newfound strength, there shall be a reckoning for your insolence. His tail's still moving, maybe in the wind. This ain't the time for nap and furball. He's still got a job to do. It's this fucking guy. I knew he'd be back. <laughs> so anime. <laughs> so anime. Come on, Kate Sith. I love if we just punked him in the head and he just got knocked out. That'd be great. Please, Catkex, don't throw it. I can't catch. I'm too weak. I my work here is unfinished. In Cesare's name, I unmake thee, Diabolos. My master's will be done. Tropey, but still funny. Yeah, this is so anime. <laughs> this is the most anime we've got so far in this game. It is great fun, though. Grah! For 15 centuries I yearned for this power. Thou canst not unmake me. No! No! <laughs> power level's over 9,000! That's a cool weapon. Oh, is Kate Sith gonna be dead? Is this the end for Kate Sith? It's the end for his ship, anyway. Should have known we were wasting our breath. The captain only heeds the siren in his heart and damn the consequences. She's become Irish instead of whatever she was before. Oh well. <sighs> Told you'd be lost without me, didn't I? Blah. And look at you, puss, getting knocked out cold in your moment of glory. You wouldn't like another chance to honor your master's memory, and you almost missed it. You weren't like to get another chance. You almost missed it. I suppose you pulled through at the last. Aye, I'll give you that much. <laughs> he still has a time for a cheeky grin. I don't know if he's dying or if he's just... tired. I can't quite tell. The music seems a bit too happy for him dying. I think he's just... Beat up and tired. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's fine. Crisis averted. Spare me your concern and lectures. You all knew I wasn't like to stay abed with such a grand adventure in the making. I'd rather break every bone in me body than be stripped of the freedom to go where I please. Besides, all's well that ends well, eh? Diabolos is dead and we're all alive. That counts as a victory in my book. Just a pity it cost me the remeal and the doing of it. Hope she rests easy on that island refuge. Hey, we get two orchestrian rolls. Awesome. Oh. And a quest, maybe. Kidna, Griffin, Gaius. I got those already. Spare Gaius card. Hey, that's good. Blue quest. Red bill scarf. Ah. It's a little neck piece that I can't see. Because I've got armor on. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why is her big airship so phallic shaped? You know why. You know why, chat.
Ah, my goggles are a mess. I can always get me a new pair of goggles and a new airship. I suppose we should be glad we didn't lose aught else after diving headlong into a void scent nest. Now that we've taken the skies back, it's time we were taking our leave. The Talons and the Redbills can kiss this brief alliance farewell. Unless, of course, you are interested in a more permanent arrangement. You bootlickers might think your voice a siren song, but it grates in my ears like a harpy screech. Ah, this is the first and last time we fly together. We're back to being rivals, the way it's always been. You're a very stubborn man, Redbill, but you do well to remember, I always get what I want in the end. <laughs> nice. Oh, the poor cat is still scorched. Someone give him a bath. <laughs> Head back to me quarters, see to the furballs hurts. I'll be along in a bit. I like that he's still wearing his broken glasses as well. Like, he didn't take him off. He's like, okay, one glass is missing. The other one is completely smashed and I can't see through it. I'm going to leave it on. <laughs> I feel so foolish, Cat Kex. I demanded that Leofard remain behind, only to have him rescue my mission from certain failure. A failure that would have made mock of your heroic efforts as well. You are too kind. Ah, uh, what words exist that can properly express my contrition? I know not how to even begin making my apologies. I should like to approach the captain, but he has the air of a man who seeks solitude. Tis strange to see him so melancholy. Could it be the loss of the Ramil which troubles him so? Nay, I shan't intrude upon his contemplation with clumsy questions and trite platitudes. Let us leave him be for the moment. I made Kate Sith more posh as we went on. I think it fits, actually. It fits pretty well. The big fancy familiar for fancy void mage. <laughs> anything to say, Leofard? Go on without me. Won't be long. We never saw him again. I heard the Ramil was an unsalvageable wreck. She's a fine vessel built to enjoy the captain's reckless flying style. It seems she kept him safe until her very end. Such a shame. Indeed. This way. This looks terrible with my gear. <laughs> We need to we need to make a transmog for this. I wonder what this full set looks like. Diabolic set. Advanced melding forbidden. Huh. Cool. Diabolic mail. The problem is we'd have to run those raids a whole bunch of times to actually get the full sets. That's kind of the issue. But we collect them for now and sort of slowly build them up over time. Sad music. Oh no. Mistress Stacia, if I might ask you a question. Do you know the cause of the captain's melancholy? Is it because of the Romil? Pray tell me if it is so. I cannot help but feel responsible for the vessel's destruction, and I would better understand Leofard's present distress. Hmm. If you really want to understand, I suppose I should start with how the captain was orphaned as a child. As matters turned out, he was taken in by a high-born widow who raised him as her son. From what Leofard has told me, his adoptive mother was a kind, quiet-spoken woman, but due to some illness or other, she was rarely able to venture outside. Instead, she spent hours reading to her boy from a library well-stocked with books from faraway lands. Mm -hmm. That's why he wants adventure. Leofard cared for her as her malady grew worse by the day, and he was there by her side when death finally carried her away to Thal's halls. While she was alive, she never did ask much of him. Not long before she passed on, however, she wrung from him one single promise, that he escape the conformity she had always endured, and live his life as free as a bird. 
as you've likely guessed, her name was Ramil. That's her portrait there, hanging on the wall. Why does the portrait have ventilation? Ah, this explains much. I'd wondered as to the origin of his vessel's naming. The Sky Pirate weighs the life Leofar chose for himself. But I like to think he named his ship the Ramil so that his mother would be there to watch over all of his adventures. Aw, oh, now the ship's gone. Since when were you so loose-lipped about a comrade's private past, Aisha? <laughs> Not impressed. I ain't in the habit of leaning on people's sympathies, so you can keep all that tidbit to yourself, eh? And I thought I told you to see to the furball's wounds. Look at your cape, puss. It's in tatters. Come here for a moment. Aw, they're friends. Friends. A scarf for me? Aye, that's a little present we give to every new red bill. Ramil taught me it's not protecting memories that's important. It's having the strength to follow your path and make those memories in the first place. Seeing how determined you were to clean your master's slate, I'd say you fit right in with our crew. I thought the cat was dead for sure. The cat's fine though. I was 100% convinced. Listen, if you're thinking that little airship meant a lot to me, you'd be right. But I'd rather mourn a hunk of metal than lose them as can share in me highs and lows. Aww. So let's get this straight, puss. There's no need for apologies. A sky pirate makes his choice and he sticks by it. The life of a sky pirate, hmm? As I seem to be bereft of both place and purpose now, I suppose I shall accept your offer. I'm yours to command, Captain. Nice. Glad to hear it. Your first duty is to join us in giving our adventurer here a proper send-off. Well, it's about bloody time you two saw eye to eye. But honestly, Captain, you don't mean to head out in those rags, do you? Let's get you cleaned up as well before we say our fond farewells. I thought it was going to be like his ex-wife. It's his mother. Oh, it's lo lovely. Lovely. All right. It's time we part ways, Kakex. Let's give you an escort down to Coldwind. Good looking clouds. Very realistic looking clouds. That was some adventure, Kakex. Our journey into the unknown is over. For the now. <laughs> when the sky spit out some new mystery, you can bet I'm coming to find you. After all, ain't nobody else who handles the unexpected quite like you do. High adventure in the heady rush of danger. Surely in this life there's no greater reward. And they're off. Cool. That was good fun. I like that Alliance Raid series. I think the Sky, Sky Pirates are pretty, pretty cool. But then the actual raids themselves I thought were really good. They were really fun. I really like the, the void settings and stuff. That was great. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if he'll ever come back. I'm guessing he hasn't been back, but I wonder if he ever will be. And we got a scarf, very nice. Which is, I presume, in my armory chest, yes. So we can use that for, oh, hey guys, hey. Boop, boop, woo. Uh, let's go turn this into Slip Slicks and see what he's all about. Let's see what we get for this one. Unidentified flying object with a proto Ultima thing. Yeah, he's yet to come back. Yeah, okay. Maybe Endwalker is when he has his day. Who knows? 
Oh, I can't fly here. I can mount, but not fly. Did our plunder find a miscreation? Rip took part for slip slicks, yes? I did. This is what Uplander Rip took from giant floaty thing in Dunscath. Good gobbies in heavens. Slip slicks I I catch the same looking object before. This comes from Alagan Primo blasting Whirlycog. But what is it doing on floaty rock Dunscath? Just thinking about it makes Slip Slick's brain case uh, pain throb. Wait, Uplander saw many void scent on floaty rock. Yes, maybe Whirlycog mistakes void scent for Primal and starts blasting. Slip Slicks must research this theory and research with fastness. Knowing truth may be uncovered, give Slip Slicks heart thumps and shivery shakes. And do not think that Slip Slicks has forgotten word bond. In return for hand lending, Slip Slicks is happy to share shiny riches with Uplander. Take to Slim Thicks, and Slim Thicks will fancy craft treasure worthy of Uplander's sweat work. Slip Slicks hopes to count on Uplander again. Okay. Proto Ultima Mesh. So you're saying this is the really cool armor piece? That is a cool chest piece, alright. That is cool. We get earrings as well. Nice. Gobl goblins are great, yeah. I'm a big fan of the goblins. Oh, th wait, this is for all classes. Oh, this is for all classes. Oh. I can use this on everything. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna take some of that. Mm hmm. Thank you very much. Haha. Okay, well, um, unexpected proposal. I wonder what that is. Man, we got so many things to pick up here. Hmm. Yeah, the be Beast Tribes are great fun, alright. I like the Beast Tribes, I have to say. Uh. Oh, that's right. I'd have to actually put on this piece of armor. Hang on. Ah! I've got too many chess pieces, apparently. Oh, man, I do have a lot of chess pieces. Decent this random one. Apprentice's smock. I can decent that, I guess. Custom scale. I don't even know where I got all these. I can't decent this. Wait, really? Weird. For this. I guess I can't decent the basic pieces or something. Velveteen cowl. Get rid of that. So much armor. So little time. Orthodox coat. Maiming. Oh, I actually quite like the look of this orthodox coat. I want to keep this. Okay. Inventory's problem's too real. Too, too, too real. Trip to Revenant's Toll. What is this? Let me just see what this is. Good morning to you, Catkex. Something on your mind? I've been called back to Revenant's Toll to take care of a new shipment of wares. I love her dress. If you have matters of money that require my attention, can I get this dress? This dress is cool. Oh, this is the Heavensward Relic. Oh. <gasps> Hold that thought. It seems I have visitors. Some more welcome than others. Pardon the intrusion, Mistress Rowena. I realize I was here for only a few days ago, but I really must speak with you about... Good, you're still here. We need to talk about that promissory note. Now, I know what you're thinking. That stinking sack of gobu shite ain't got me God's damn money. Well, you're wrong. I saved it up every last gill. The thing is, me mates took out, took me out for a drink to celebrate, and... Excuse me, sir, but when people are talking, it's generally considered rude to interrupt. I know not what manner of business you have at Rowena, but I'm quite sure it can wait. Ooh, rude. As I was saying, Mistress Rowena, have you perchance been able to arrange a meeting with your associates? There's much I would ask them about their work on arcane sentries. Hold on a bleeding minute. You are telling me to wait? Didn't no one ever teach you to shut your gob when grown-ups are talking? Me life and, more importantly, me note at the taverns at stake here. Now be a good lad and bugger off till Uncle Geralt's had his say.
Geralt, mind your own advice for once and keep quiet. I'll deal with you soon enough. Regarding your question, Ardashir, the answer is no. The client I had in mind's a bit of a recluse and stubborn as all hells in her old age. She wouldn't hear of any meeting. I ain't got time to press her on it at the moment. Too much to do by half. Sounds like you got enough on your plate without having to worry yourself over an old mate's Owens. I tell you what, let's forget about it for... Nice try, Irene, uh, Geralt. Nice try. I know not what hole you've drunken yourself into, sir. And quite frankly, I do not care. I have important business to discuss with Mistress Irwina, and I demand you leave us be this instant. Bah, youth of today. Jumped up, self-serving little shites a lot of you. Fine, tell us then, your highness. What's this business of yours that's more important than a man's life, eh? Well, out with it. Very well, if only to explain myself to Rowena. Together with my master, I've been conducting research into the manipulation of spiritual and etheric energies in what you call the Near East. Our work has shown that the soul is in fact an agglomeration of a specific type of force. This force defines the quiddity of man and makes us who we are. While the soul is indeed inimitable, we believe it is possible to create a quasi-soul. Thus we turned our attention to anima, the self-same force which allows individuals to traverse the life stream via etherites. By infusing a soul stone with the re requisite quantities of ether, this force may be harnessed. Okay. Yet after years of research and experimentation, we've naught to show for it but inert husks of stone. We repeated the process again and again, adjusting every element, but the result was always the same. At length, my master declared the project a failure, turned his thoughts to other matters. But I could not give up, not after witnessing the beauty of Anima, not after coming so close, and that is why I've journeyed hither to Eorzea. I'm certain that with the Charlayan's knowledge of arcane sentries, I can complete my project. I'm also certain that the resultant souls will be worth more to mankind than the ale-soaked dish clout that passes for yours. Finished, have you? Then allow me to retort. Seems to me you're a cockered little brat as to speak a lot without saying aught. You talk like a man of learning when tis plain you're just a boy, what's never had a thought of his own, couldn't even if he tried. Not that you ever would, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. And why? Because the youth of today can't be bothered to do an ons of honest work for themselves. No sense of duty. Things get rough and you run for help, leaving a trail of piss in your wake. Do you reckon them scholarly folks from Charleyan asked for the answer whenever they got stuck? Not bloody likely, because they use their bloody brains. Taint even hard. If I saw these soul things burning out too quick, I'd think about sealing them inside something strong, like a weapon maybe. Keep all that life from escaping. It cost them a bit of freedom, I, but keep them around for a damn sight longer than you managed. What's more, if the bloody things really are alive, like you say, you'd end up with a weapon that could think for itself, which could be bloody lethal in the right hands. What you say to that, you painin' little shite? <laughs> Interesting, so living weapons? Yo, this sounds cool. Huh. An anima weapon? That, that's absolute genius! A means not only to preserve created anima, but to employ it! Anima weapons, eh? Aye, that'll sell. I love her fashion, it's very good. Quite an interesting proposition, Geralt. One that could be quite lucrative. Why not help poor Ar Ardershear here with his work, and see what you can make of it? Help that spineless streak of piss? You're joking, ain't you? 
Why in the seven hells would I play nursemaid to a watery-eyed brat like him? I was just spouting shite. Didn't mean none of it. Is that right? Pity. Sounded like something we could have made a good bit of coin out of. Enough to make me forget your debts, like as not. Your debts I won't be forgetting otherwise. Change your mind? Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Listen, Ardashir, he may be a drunken bloody fool, but he's also the finest blacksmith in all the realm. If anyone can forge a weapon capable of holding your souls, it's him. And our adventuring friend here, my dear sweet Catkex, is well-known hero around these parts. I'm sure she'd love nothing more than to try out your new weapon when it's finished. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's right. Just think of it. You'd be the first in all of Eorzea to wield one of these anima weapons. Which ain't a bad name now I come to think of it. Anima weapon. Aye, that'll do. <laughs> I'd love one. I don't be so hasty, Catkex. This here's fate. What else could have brought the three of you to me at the self same time, eh? And don't go telling me the thought of a weapon that learns and adapts to combat don't interest you, because we both know it does. She's right. I am interested. Cat Kex, don't lie. I know what you want. Geralt, was it? Pray forgive me my rudeness earlier. If you truly are the smith she claims, I'd be honoured to have your assistance. And you, Cat Kex. I gather you're the perfect candidate to test the weapon once it's complete. Ah, well, if this got me square with Rowena, I suppose me hammer's yours. Don't think I'm getting roped into this alone. If I have to forge it, you have to wield it. I'm fine with that. Thank you, both of you. I promise you'll not regret this. Nice to see you're all getting on. Now, you're gonna need a place to work. I know just the spot. Azisla, the seat of elegant science floating on high over Ablanthia's spine. Azisla? Now that the equipment up there will be any use to your mind, only the Twelve know how that stuff works. Still, it'll keep prying eyes away until the weapon's ready. I'll arrange for an airship to take you within the day. I thought she's gonna be like around the corner here in fucking Idleshire. My goodness, Azis La. The fabled Azis La. I look forward to seeing you there, Catkex. We might check this out tomorrow. This could be fun. This could be fun. Weapon time? Perhaps. Day's proven to be more productive than I thought. Geralt's out of my hair, and soon I'll have new merchandise for the House of Splendors. Assuming this ridiculous plan of his works. I'm counting on you, Cat Kex. First relic weapon? We get a Dragoon weapon, I think, would be the way to do it. I assume that it's probably not as good as the Shire stuff we have, right? Like, we've got a pretty good... Um, we've got a, a 270 weapon, so I don't know if it would be as good as that, but it might be close. But guys, I have to go. Thank you for watching. Um, I would love to stay and do more stuff, but I actually do have to... I do have to dash. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, oh, it's glamour. We can just glamour it? Okay. Well, in that case, then we can make it work. We can make it work. I actually don't have any... Don't need to spend my poetics right now, so we're good. We're, we're not going to cap. Guys, th yeah, thank you for watching. Right. I um, think I check Alexander raids at some point. Um, I I've seen, like, this Alexander stuff. I don't know where it actually comes up. I haven't seen it yet. But, yeah, we're going to do all the raids. We're going to do all the raids. Um, yes, okay, so tomorrow we will probably check out this relic weapon and actually then try to finally get through some main quest stuff too. And now we've got the Alliance Raid stuff done. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, sort of see how it goes. And uh, yeah, then Thursday, I probably won't be on. Friday, we'll be doing uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. It's going to be pretty awesome. And then I'll be back and I'll be there over the weekend as well. We'll do streams over the weekend, some Final Fantasy, some Pathfinder mix the two together. We'll see how it goes. Should be fun. All right, everyone. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully at the actual right time. Uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching.